There's some positivity in this. There's some heroism. Maybe this is a redemption story? I don't know. Is Radan redeemed? Hey music friends, this is Davi Vask. I'm a music composer for games and everybody is excited for Elden Ring again because of the DLC. So today we're gonna listen to and talk about some more Elden Ring music and it's Star Scourge Radan today. I still haven't played the game, shame on me. Let's see what I can find out from the music alone. Let's go. A big intro. Okay. Such heavy brass in this, the rhythm is so heavy as well. And they're starting with choirs right away. I'm really impressed by the brass in this. And wow. Okay, so like many other uh, Soulsborn uh, tracks, this is this sounds kind of disturbing in a way. The 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 texture in it sounds chaotic that there's not a very well discernible melody in this and and they they seem to be using these clusters of very very low brass to create a sort of uh sounds like a, a kind of a disturbing a chaotic effect check this out pay attention to the right speaker there's some very insistent low brass on the right speaker the low brass is doing this. Very low pitch tuba. And then, this is what I wanted to show you. It's coming soon. Here it comes. Yeah, here. Listen to this weird cluster of low-pitched brass. It sounds... There's not a very well-defined melody or a very well-defined uh, texture. It's just chaos. It feels like a shapeless cluster of chaos it sounds disturbing and it sounds i might even say sounds alien but then i might be getting a clue from the name of the track which is star scourge radan uh, so i don't know maybe they're trying to portray something alien when this track uh, but actually before this track started i was almost expecting something like living failures right living failures from bloodborne had a space aspect to it I was expecting this to be similar because of the name Star Scourge, but so far it sounds very shapeless and uh, undefined. They, they are intentionally, very intentionally refraining from narrowing down a specific theme, a specific uh, texture and harmony. It all sounds kind of uh, shapeless. So let's see how this evolves. Okay, it's building up. They're still 
you using this sad chord? There's more per percussion being introduced. Okay. The harmony seems a little bit more well-defined now. They're, they're really insisting on this chord. There's some semblance of melody now. It, it seems like the, the track is evolving from, from these clusters of shapeless chaos into something that resembles uh, a little bit more like a, a theme, something more organized and definite. I, I wonder if, that, if that's the, the thing of the, of the track, if, if it actually evolves from, from kind of nothingness into something. And I wonder if that's, if that says, says something about the boss as well, about the character. But check this out. There's a semblance of a theme, of a melody here. Check this out. There's a melody. They're chanting a melody and they keep repeating this phrase. Na, 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 na. Cool. See, it, it, it sounds more definite now. Uh, interesting. Man, that's so interesting. So... Okay, second phase. Second phase. Very chaotic, very chaotic. Man, listen to this march like rhythm. It's so sluggish, like a heavy march. It's building up, it's building up. It's building up, guys. Oh my god, this is gonna explode. I wonder... I wonder if it's going to explode into chaos or... Something more definite. Man, and they raised the key. They raise the key of the song. So I just wanted to talk about this part before it goes into second phase. This part sounded like such a... This one. Like such a breath of fresh air in this song. Can you tell why? Because... Even though the, the instruments here, the, there's very few of them and they're, they're not playing anything like super special or memorable, they are in harmony. The, the instruments, they are actually in perfect harmony. This, this is an actual term, perfect harmony or perfect consonance. So the, the basses here, the, the low strings, they are playing in, in uh, unison or in octaves here the the 
double bases and octaves with the cello here and many of them are, are playing actually in unison so man this is such a breath of fresh air in this track where before everything was super chaotic and dissonant so this reinforces that idea that i was having about this track being uh, uh an, an evolution of chaos and nothingness going towards something more definite but then the second phase started and it was super chaotic as well man it, it, in a way harmonious look at that uh in a way this reminds me of some bloodborne tracks but not in the way i expected look how dissonant and just incomprehensible this is so much dissonant and, and dissonance and chaos in it, it sounds intimidating and this is this is something that they did in bloodborne as well when they wanted to portray something that is just uh, so beyond our comprehension, so beyond our plane of thought, that they, they, they used incomprehensible music, music that defies the stuff that we're used to. Like, I can play any sort of uh, common uh, chord progression here, if, even if you don't know any music theory, you know, your, your brain knows what this means, for example. Right? It's, it's a very simple uh, emotion that is very recognizable and very understandable. So what I get from this Redan guy is, man, he must be something beyond our comprehension, some, th something beyond our plane uh, of thought, because his music is, is incomprehensible and chaotic and disturbing. It sounds so unfamiliar and uncomfortable. But also, listen to the choirs. There's a chanting aspect to it as well. They're chanting. So is there a religious aspect to this as well? It sounded like such a mindless chant. The notes are so close together and they sound so sluggish. There's an apathy. There's a mindlessness to, to this chant. I wonder what that means. Yeah, and then they change the key, they raise the key a little bit to increase the the hype, the, the tension. Interesting. Guys, this sounds totally different. There's something special to this part. Oh my god. Guys, I think this is exactly what I thought. The track evolving from, from nothingness to something. This is something. Hold up, I have to show you this. It seems evident to me that there's some storytelling going on while you're fighting this guy because something happened here right this is something happened to this guy right here this is different uh 
this almost reminds me of uh, Ludwig from Bloodborne, right? Where the song starts, like I said before, with this track, it, it starts as something beyond our comprehension, and then it evolves into something more human. And it's ex it's exactly what's happening here. It, it sounds human now, not in the sense of maybe Radan being human, because I don't know if he is, but it's something that is more comprehensible to us humans. It, it sounds like something that we understand, something that we can relate to. And before they, they were using all these incomprehensible, chaotic chords, now look how different it sounds. Look how how emotional and and relatable it sounds. So definite, so relatable, human. Look how heroic this chord sounds. Amazing, man. And there's even a melody to go with it. Something, there's something happening with this guy right now. There's some positivity in this, there's some heroism, maybe this is a redemption story, I don't know. Is Radan redeemed right now? Oh wow man. Woodwinds. Wow, this sounds so gentle and, and, and vulnerable. This track was suggested on Patreon by Terry. Hooray Terry! And hey, if you're hyped for the Elden Ring DLC and you like sharing the music from the games that you love, you gotta catch up with my other videos on Elden Ring music over here. And over here I have a, a million other videos on Souls music in general. So check this out and remember, whenever you're ready to spread your wings and go on a music journey again, I'll see you there.